Hi kindergartners, I hope that you're doing well. Today we are going to get started with our how to, um, our next how to writing lesson. So what you're going to need is your how to book that you were working on last week. And then if you finish that book, you might need new how to paper and you will need a pencil. But please make sure you have your old how to book. If you don't have that right now, hit pause and go get it. All right. So my friends, the first thing we're going to do is just review what we have been working on. And so I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see. And remember, we are learning about how to writing. And how to writing, and how to writing, we know what to do. We have to tell what to do. We teach someone what to do in detailed steps. We really tell them exactly how to do it. We need to number our steps so we know the so the reader knows the order. We have a picture for each step, and we have labels that teach. Remember, we have this writing poster, and we also have a writer's workshop how-to checklist. And this checklist helps us make sure that we have each thing. So after you're done writing, you can check and say, did I tell what to do in detailed steps? And you can check each page. When you do it, check. Did I number the steps? You can check. And then you say, do I have a picture and labels that teach for each step? If you do, check. And the last thing we did was we were reading our uh, mentor text, which was the My First Soccer Game text, um, the book. And we learned how to add text features into our writing. And some features that we learned about how to add in our writing are having a title of our story that tells what the book is about. We have pictures that teach us. We have add a list of things that we need. And we're going to bold or put in all caps important parts or important words get bolded that we make them darker or we put them in all capital letters those are all the things that we've learned so far on how to write it today writers i want to teach you that when you're writing a how-to book your words need to reach a reader and the reader might be waiting with something half done, waiting to hear what they should do next. And so in your how-to writing, you need to talk to the reader. One of the best ways that you can reach your readers is to talk directly to them by saying the word you. And you're going to say the word you in your writing. Do we know how to write the word you? It's a sight word. Can you spell it for me? I'm listening. Yep. It's Y O U. You. And the best, one of the best ways for us to reach our readers is to add this word you into our how-to books. So instead of just saying, um, draw a circle, you would say, first, you draw a circle. And then you make two eyes. Last, you add a smiley face. So we're going to add the word you. So today, my friends, I'm gonna we're gonna look again in our my first soccer game book. And we're gonna see if we can find where the author, Alyssa, added the word you or a different word that's related to you, which would be your. Let's 
see if we can find where she might have done that. Let's see, just focusing. So in here, oh, let's look here. This is where she's showing us how we get, how they stretch and get ready. Let's look at step number three. It says stretch time. Let's see if I can get that. It says, can you move your knees up and down like a butterfly? You hear the word you? That's the, um, the author is talking to you, the reader. Can you move? That's a great stretch that will get you warmed up fast. Then she also used the word your, which is just like the word you. It says, hooray, now you're ready to play. So my friends, let's see if we can add those words, you and your, into Miss Downey's How to Brush Your Teeth writing. And remember, my friends, we're also going to see if we can add some transition words. So let's see. Look here, Miss Downey already started. It says, first, you need a toothbrush. So did I add my word you? Do you see it? You. Perfect. And I have my transition word. First, you. What's a transition word I can use for the next page? I could write next. Let's see. Did I put next, you? Let's see. Put some toothpaste on the toothbrush. I need to add those words. Next, you. So look, Miss Daddy doesn't have, doesn't have room. That's okay. I'm just going to write it right above. Next. Oh, this pencil is running out of lead. One moment. There we go. Next, you. Next, you. And then. Oh, should this one be a capital now since it's not the beginning of my sentence? Nope, I'm gonna change that because remember we only have a capital at the beginning. Next you put some toothpaste on the toothbrush. <gasps> what comes at the end? Period. Then first you put first you need a toothbrush and toothpaste. Next, you put some toothpaste on the toothbrush. Maybe I can put then. All right, then. So it says put water on the toothbrush and put it in your mouth. I need to add then you. So I'm gonna just put it kind of here because I don't have as much room. Then you, and I can add a little carrot like that. That shows whoop, that was supposed to go in there. Then you, and I'll make this lowercase. Put, see I'm adding the word you to talk to my reader. Then right after that, you, uh, after that, you, and I need this lowercase because it's not the beginning of my sentence anymore. Brush your teeth in small circles for two minutes. This is my last page. So what should I say? Should I say first? No, last or finally. So I'm going to put last. I'm going to use the word last. Last you Spit out the toothpaste and rinse your mouth in the sink. All right. So my friends, today your job is to write the word you. So let me show you our new poster so you can see our new little note. So right here, we have the title. We have pictures that teach, a list of things we need. We put bold or all capital words. And we also are going to talk to the reader. First you, then you. So my friends, today's your job is to do this.
if you are needing some help adding transition words, Miss Downey has a paper that I can show you. Um, one moment, I'm just getting it ready for us. So I have all the parts. All right. So my friends, I'm just going to stop presenting. Then I'm going to show you all these transition words that you can use. You can also find these in the resources section of the how to writing resources in the um, writing page. And I'm just going to show them to you so you see them. All right, my friends. So you have all of these words. First, one day, one time. Next, then, later on, after that. And then you say at last or finally or later, or in the end, or last. So I'm going to just make this one kind of small, and let me just get our timer ready so we can start writing. So I want you to make sure you have your writing book. I want you to open it up and see, do you have first you, then you, last you in your book? Did you use the word you? If you didn't, I need you to add that today. If you're all done with that book and you have that part, you can grab new writing paper. All right. And my friends, we are going to just move all of this over so you can see it. All right, and then I am going to put on here's our writing posters. Remember to add the word you, and Miss Downey's going to turn on the timer. It's time for you to write for 10 minutes. All right, time to get started. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, friends, stop and hug. I want you to check. Did you, have you added you to your pages with the transition word? First you, next you, then you, at last you. Have you added that? If you've added that already, I want you to go back. Can you bold your the important words? I'm going to show you. Um, can you bold the words that are important first. You need a toothbrush. That one's important, so I make it dark. And toothpaste, that one's important, so I make it dark. Do you have labels on your pictures? Have you numbered each page so I know your reader knows what step it is? Do you have clear pictures and words that are detailed? Like this, brush your teeth in small circles for two minutes. That tells me lots of detail of how I brush my teeth. Do you have pictures with labels? Make sure you add all of those things. All right, keep writing. You have six more minutes. Thank you. 
two and a half more minutes, everyone. Keep writing, good job. All right, friends, time is up. I'm really proud of you. Um, make sure to put your writing away in a safe place so you can find it again when we work on it later this week. And um, if you finish with that story, that's all right. You can start a new story next time. And if you're not finished yet, you can keep working. I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time. Bye, my friends. Have a great rest of your day.